currently um, I have a, a few months to go as the president, uh, executive president of the global community and US and Canada, uh, which is an umbrella organization for people of indigenous and those married to um, uh, people of that are resident that are resident in either the USA or Canada. Uh, but um, because um, this association was actually um, formed three years ago, and during that period, I was the uh, founding coordinator. And uh, after our convention in the, in the state of in Maryland in 2019, I was elected as the first uh, executive president of the Bulova Community USA and Canada. Wow. So, um, so far, so good. Leading on the global people in the US and Canada, uh, leading them together with your profession, what to do, how far, and how where. Um, if, I mean, you mean if, um, how. And um, what are the, let's say, the, the challenges or the successes? What well, the storyline so far? Well, I think, I think for the fact that um, we are able to, we're able to organize ourselves. Uh, we are able to, we have successfully uh, con um, concluded a, a convention uh, which was the first of its kind for, uh, for a long time. I think the last time they had a convention was, uh, uh, I'm not mistaken, but up to 10 years ago. So, and uh, this is a new association that uh, evolved uh, uh, organically from members. Uh, we decided to bring ourselves together under the umbrella of the global community, USA and Canada. So I think I would say so far so good actually, excellent. Uh, we've been able to, as I said earlier, um, um, organize a convention which attracted um, people from far and wide, um, all the way from Washington, Seattle to from um, uh, Wisconsin, West Coast, I think, and uh, Midwest, and also for those of us who reside in the East Coast. So it was it was well attended. It was uh, um, uh, people who had a lot of fun, and, um, and I think having said that, there's always challenges. But I think um, on the on the benefit risk on the benefit challenge, uh, where right now I think the uh, the benefit outweigh the risk. I mean we. Um, we meet monthly. Uh, we've uh, been able to hold ourselves high uh, by helping the people at home. Uh, during the pandemic last year, as you may recall, there was a, um, a, a while we were also going through a, a lockdown in the USA and Canada. Um, there are folks uh, we were also in lockdown in Nigeria, including in the Ecuador. So um, having um, leave this experience ourselves, we decided to um, come to the aid of our, our folks at home. And um, so we um, voluntarily contributed the money. And our folks, our people were very um, generous. They uh, donated uh, very generously uh, to a palliative support and fund individuals. So 10,000 naira per individual. Per oh, 10,000 naira. Yes, okay. for these 36 individuals. So 360,000 per village, but for um, Ola, we decided to do 48. So we, we gave 10,000 dollars, 10,000 naira, sorry, um, to um, 48 individuals uh, in uh, in Ola village. So uh, you, uh, you can do the math: 36 and times 8, and then 48 plus 48. So we spent over over uh, almost close to 4 million naira. Uh, we injected over four million naira in into the yes into the economy of um, the Bulawayo. One thing unique with the, with the way we did it was um, we we um, did it through a village because we are believers in a, in a, um, grassroots. We we think that it we should meet the people where they are. We don't uh, do artificial um, um, we don't establish artificial systems, but we meet people where they are. So we went to the villages using the village um, chairman and the village um, uh, executive council to um, to distribute our own palette. And I think it worked well, and our people did appreciate it. So.